So the men's singles from the top half of the draw. The number one seeds, the two-time former champion, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, up against the number three seed, appearing in his third Japan semi-final, Simon Santoso. Well, Lee Chong Wei, not only two-time former champion, first won the title here in 2007 and again in 2010. He was beaten finalist last year. In fact, he's been in four finals in total. And the Malaysian here today, trying to make it through to his third consecutive Japan Open final, his fifth final in total. Former world number one, two-time Olympic silver medalist, two-time champion here in Japan. Up against the number three seed, Simon Santoso. Santoso, of course, the two-time gold medalist from the Southeast Asian Games as the umpire and service judge are introduced as well. Atsuishi Seto from Japan and Ito Sumiko also of Japan are umpire and service judge. So there, Simon Santoso, the 27-year-old from Indonesia. And Lee Chong Wei, what a wonderful ambassador he has been for the sport. He's a great supporter of the Super Series event, and he's the most successful player in the history of the Super Series, which, of course, started in 2007. Twelve tournaments each year in the Super Series, and Lee Chong Wei has won more than any other player. 25 Super Series titles, 42 titles in total. Number one seed, of course, world ranking has dropped to number two because, of course, for almost four years, he was world number one. And look at his win-loss record for the year, 34 and four. And that translates into having played six tournaments so far. He's reached six finals, winning three of them. Of course, team events counted in that win-loss record as well, in case you think I've gone completely mad. But there you can see his path through to today's semi-final. Former world junior champion Victor Axelsson of Denmark in the second round there, and his left-handed teammate Chong Wei Feng in yesterday's quarter-final. So, to Simon Santoso, the number three seed, number five in the world rankings. He's gone up one place this week. He was six a week ago. 29 and 10, his win-loss record for the year. A couple of finals he's been in. And, of course, the big one was winning his home event, the Premier Super Series event in Indonesia. That was his first-ever Premier title to go with the Denmark Open that he won back in 2009. Of course, in 2009, there were no premier events as far as the Super Series was concerned. Well, as you could see with his path through to today's semi-final, he too, like his opponent, has won all of his matches in two straight games as we look at our match officials for this semi-final. Let's make notes, though, of Simon Santoso's victory in his quarterfinal yesterday against the number seven seed, his teammate Taufik Hidayat. Of course, Hidayat playing in his last ever Japan Open. And of course, Hidayat three times a finalist in this event, but was never actually the champion. And that, incidentally, was revenge for Simon, Simon Santoso because in his two previous semi finals, Hidayat was the man who beat him. Lee Chongwei, Malaysia. And on my left, Simon Santos, Indonesia. Lee Chongwei, Kusa. Double play. 
So to the men's singles semi-final, the two-time former champion Lee Chong Wei nearest to us against the number three seed Simon Santoso. Lee Chong Wei four times he's been in the final here in Japan. Trying to make it through to his fifth final, his third consecutive. And when you look at the win-loss record between these two players when they've met previously this is in fact the tenth meeting between the two players and of the previous nine Lee Chong Wei has won eight of them only once has the Indonesian beaten the Malaysian and if you're an Indonesian fan that statistic a little bit ominous and of course the last time they met was in the last 16 of the London Olympic Games and with Lee Chong Wei going on to take part in that wonderful and memorable final against Lin Dan. Lee Chong Wei obviously won their encounter in London, but it was very convincing. 21-12, 21-8. No, it's gone wide. Oh, and Lee Chong Wei, who so bravely battled back from two serious injuries to reach that Olympic final. The shoulder injury that he picked up in the All England final had to withdraw from the second game Five, two. of that final against Lin Dan. And then, of course, very badly twisted his ankle against Peter Guerra of Denmark during the Thomas Cup finals in Wuhan. Oh. Had to contend with some personal oh. issues as well, family issues, and for Lee Chong Wei, just to make it to the Olympic Games was a feat in itself to reach the final and produce Holy such a match power. was simply incredible. Next shot. Yep. Control the nets in men's singles. You tend to control the match. Yep, new and immediately his judgment there. Very Absolutely clever. sound. Seven, four. Lee Chong Wei was talking earlier in the week about one of his earlier rounds and saying, well, because I was playing a lower ranked player, wanted to try out some new techniques. Going for various different shots that perhaps normally wouldn't go for. So even when you've been world number one, still looking to improve. And at the age of 29, that really is a measure of what a professional Lu Chong Wei is. Well, 
Well, the only time that Simon Santoso has beaten Lee Chong Wei was actually here in Japan three years ago in the round of last 16. Three games he needed for his victory. That's just wide. Nine, five. Look at that net shot. Wonderful. Lunge forward, racket arm outstretched. wide and to the mid-game interval with a six-point advantage and Lee Chong Wei at the moment looks to be in cruise control well, there's no doubting Simon Santoso and his ability and born in Tigal in central Java we saw that when he won the Indonesia Open He's got a very laid-back style, as the Indonesian. And he, too, has struggled with injuries over the year. Santoso only played five individual tournaments back in 2010 because of a persistent back injury. And I guess one of the problems, as far as Santoso is concerned, when you've lost your opponent so many times previously, eight of the nine occasions they've won, uh, they've met, struggle to have belief. It's all very well telling yourself that this will be the time. But when things start to go wrong, and that deep, real inner belief is not always there. You can try and kid yourself it's there. It has to be genuine. It's just wide. Yeah, just not reading what's coming at him, Santoso. Look, he's back on his heels, can't react, can't change direction, and therefore can't return the drop shot. a look from Simon Santoso as to a bewilderment. How am I going to win these rallies? What have I got to do? Everything I try just keeps coming back. Well, most of the time, the Indonesian has been put on the back foot because it's his opponent who's been dicta dictating the pace. Goodness. 
Well, even the confidence Lee Chong Wei to turn and play the high backhand. And he's already opened up a 10 point advantage. This is against the world number five ranked player. there mm. I think I was right in my assess assessment about the lack of belief 18 he knows this opening game is beyond him and that was a poor decision Lovely. That's the sort of shots that Lee Chong Wei, I'm sure, is working on when he talked about new techniques. Don't often see him play that slow cross court drop shot, but very effective it was. straight points. Opportunities from the number one seed, Li Chong Wei. Well, that quite frankly it was a demonstration by the former world number one, the former champion here in Japan, Li Chong Wei. Absolutely superb. Just 12 minutes. And he's a game to the good against the number three seed, Simon Santoso. A full stretch, not knowing where to move, unable to anticipate. physically be there but mentally he doesn't look there at the moment does he he's got his eye on what's happening on the adjoining court I think it's absolutely imperative as far as the Indonesian is concerned to get a good start to this second game. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 Game. Play. Well, Lee Chong Wei 
was just so dominant in that opening game. I suppose from his perspective, he can't uh, allow himself just to ease off at all. If that opening rally is any indication, he has no intention of doing so. That was wonderful. Over two, one. Yeah, that looked a short of a beaten man to me. He's such a good player. Simon Santoso, when he's on form, on his day. That's nice. Uh, Three, one. Did well to get the first one back. We simply couldn't recover in time. And the problem with... Santosa is he's got such a a laid back relaxed persona about him he may look to some as if he's not trying I can assure you he most certainly is Oh. Four, one. Just how quick is that? A oh, little point from the Indonesian there, questioning whether Mitchell Wei had, took the, had taken the shuttle before he crossed over the net. But no call from the umpire. Five, one. Oh, my goodness me. Six, one. He's toying with the Indonesian at the moment. Double action Body there from Lee Chong Wei. Have a look at that. Amuse the crowd. Well, that's the sort of thing that may just indicate that Lee Chong Wei has taken his foot off the pedal. Oh, service ball called. Would you believe it? Very, very rarely. Do we ever see in singles players getting called a fault? And that's... Oh dear, well... Over. Gifted point now from Lee Chong Wei. I was going to say that the gifted point from Simon Santoso. Oh, another gifted point. Four, seven. Oh. Well, Service over. has this ability. Four. Well, it appears just to be able to win points at will. Create your own luck sometimes, though, in badminton. You do in most things in life. I'm taking the shuttle early. 
dictating the pace. Ten, four. Gary Player, wasn't it, who said, the more I practice, the luckier I seem to get. Let's drop wide. Service over. Five, ten. Change of a racket will be required from Lee Chong Wei. Didn't sound right as he hit that one. Must have broken a string. Mm, the Indonesian fans looking a little bit glum at the moment. involvement in the semi-finals day later on in the mixed doubles. But at the moment, as far as Simon Santoso is concerned, Indonesia's chances in the men's singles discipline seem to be evaporating. Well, it was 11-5 at the mid-game interval in game number one. Santos are a little closer here in the second. 4-1, 20 seconds. 4-1, 20 seconds. 11-6. Oh, it's called out. Seven, eleven. Citation by the line judge, and there was a definite indication from the Indonesian that he thought it was wide. Eight, eleven. Well, Lee Chong Wei just saying to the umpire he's calling talking about Simon Santoso and the fact that he is perhaps by his calling out when the shuttle lands trying to influence the line judge now the Indonesian is right back in this now John Way's just taken his foot off the pedal. Yeah, good net shot. And well, all four points since the mid game interval gone in favor of Santosa and now there's just one point in it Eleven, 
Hmm, they're looking a little happier now. Ridiculously good. <laughs> his spatial awareness, his reaction speed, absolutely phenomenal. That shuttle had gone past him. A little wry smile from the Indonesian. Just up the pace of that rally. Pace of movement, not pace of shot. Very, very quick coming forward, Li Chong Wei. Landed in. Through the shuttle enough on that occasion, Santoso. Missed it. That could be costly. I just thought that Santoso, second half of this second game, just been beginning to find his rhythm, find his range. Oh, fault called by the umpire. And Lee Chong Wei, very surprised about that. A little look up towards the giant screen in this arena. We won't see it from that angle. Struggles to get down low, doesn't he? Simon Santoso sometimes. Long. Need 
just uh, get a little run of points here, the Indonesian, if he wants to take this the full distance. That's one of them. 15, 18. Set up for a good return of serve. Look at how accurate that net shot was. Service over 16 19. Oh, my goodness me. That was long by a whisker. Seventeen nineteen. Yeah, control of the net shots force the short lift. And now three match point opportunities to get through to his third consecutive final here at the Japan Open. Brilliant. Fancy winning with a clear, so deceptive. Santoso was expecting the attacking shot, the smash, but the punch clear, played to perfection. And Lee Chong Wei. 21 7, 21 17 in 32 minutes. And this, the final rally. Look at that. Left. Santoso absolutely stranded. Looks as if he's going to play the attacking shot. Wonderful. Well, no wonder. Lee Chong Wei pleased with himself. 21-17. In 32 minutes. And I have to say... Well, it was 10-4 up in the second. I thought it was going to be an absolute romp in the park, but all credit to Simon Santoso because he battled hard and made the former champion really work for it. Well, the autograph hunters out in force. Lee Chong Wei, an absolute megastar in the world of badminton, a megastar in sporting terms here in Asia.